Hello, this is the mummy of a young man named Heraclides. He died in Egypt in the first century AD. He was 20-something years old when he died. Mummification was developed by the ancient Egyptians to preserve the body for the afterlife. Before mummification, all internal organs, except the heart, were usually removed. But in this case, the heart was removed, leaving the lungs in place. The body was then covered with salt and left for 40 days until all moisture was absorbed. Then, fragrant oils and plant resins were rubbed into the body. Thick layers of resin were applied to glue the linen strips wrapped around the body. The mummy was placed on top of a piece of timber and secured in place by wrapping it with more strips. A mysterious pouch, possibly of religious significance, was placed on the chest. A loafer bird whose beak is slender and curved downwards, mummified and placed on the snow. It was common for the loafer bird mummies to be offered as votive offerings to the gods. But this is an unusual case where a bird was mummified with a dead human. The bandages were reinforced with long linen strips, and a plate with the portrait of Heraclides was placed on the face. The mummy was wrapped in a wide linen cloth. The shroud is painted red with an imported lead-based pigment. This practice is very rare. The number of known red-shrouded mummies is very small. In paint and gold, Egyptian symbols of salvation and rebirth were drawn on the outer fabric. Finally, the Greek name of Heraclides was written on the feet. Thanks to this extraordinary mummification process, the body of Heraclides is with us today.